things you're going to need. First thing is your stainless steel wire. I like to use 43 pound test wire breaking strength. Your king duster skirts, whatever color you prefer. I like the pink and white. Uh, I think of treble hooks. I like size 4. Some swivels. I like to use a little bit of weight to help it sink better. And some wire cutters. Get your wire. I say get your first piece. I say cut about 12 inches. This is your first piece. Get your second piece. Cut about seven, seven inches, seven, eight inches. Put that short piece for later. Start off with your swivel. Stick it through. So we want to pull about maybe, I say, almost three inches through, and go ahead and fold it completely 180 degrees. And pull it to the opposite side and bend it about a 45 degree angle. Then you want to take your hand, pinch it here, and twist it. This is called a Oh, it's a haywire twist. This is called a haywire twist. You want to do it about four to five times. Three, four. You take your tag in. Go ahead and bend it. So it makes a 90 degree angle. As you can see, see? 90 degree angle. And you will start to wrap it around. It's going to do even twists. You're just trying to make it even as possible. You can see that. I like to go around about four to five times as well. There you go. You're going to go ahead and cut your tag end off. Tag end off, you got a little lip. Just roll it back around over there. Now be careful when you do this. Running, that's a wire and hooks. You're going to end up getting poked. It's inevitable. It's gonna happen. There you go. There's your haywire twist. And your barrel. Twist the barrel roll. <clears throat> After that, I like to run a a bullet weight to end of the swivel to give the extra weight. So your cigar metal. Whatever uh, bait you're using goes dives down a little deeper and gives a little bit of action, in my opinion. Then go ahead and add your duster. What color you prefer? I like pink and white. Now you're going to add your number four size treble hook. Now, some people like their leaders extremely long. I like my leaders about nine inches long. You get more strikes that way. You might get cut off by a couple of fish, but you're getting more strikes in the long in the long run. And you can do the same way you do the swivel. So you want to bend it 180 or the 180 again, and take it, bend it at a 45 degree angle. Now be careful having these hooks. You don't want to get yourself. So we're gonna do a haywire twist. Four to five times as well. Take this piece and get straight so you have a 90 degree angle as well. And go ahead and make the barrel twist. Go ahead and cut your tag end off. There you go. There's your haywire twist. Let's see if it'll focus better. 
and hayride twist to your barrel twist barrel now you want to add your other hook this is when your other wire comes in play go ahead and tie it to this hook first to the bottom hook do it the same exact way tie the other ones you about three inches bend to 180 or to bend the tag in to about 45 degree pinch in the middle and twist make sure you keep these at a 45 have a proper haywire twist you get about 45 inches you're going to put it through the same hole as your back treble hook on the duster to the same exact thing you've been doing with the other wire twist. Just be sure to watch your hands. It's all these hooks and wires. You don't want to get poked. Keep on twisting. Cut your tag in. Alright guys. This is the finished product. This is the way I like to use my King Dusters. I only like using about 9 to 10 inches of wire leader. I just like to follow it up with about 4 to 5 feet of 50 pound or 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. It depends on how clear the water is. I use a lighter if it's, if it's clear. You know, I, I feel like I get a lot more strikes that way with the shorter wire leader. You just got to remember, king mackerel, pelagic fish, they got real big eyes. They come up there, check the bait out, take a quick look before they make that final strike. So, um, hope this video guys helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to answer. If you got any tips for me, leave a comment below. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.